Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, frost affecting apricot trees in Harbert, Western Armenia. The Secretary of the Artsakh Security Council holding a working consultation. 144 children were born in three months in Javakh, Ahl Kalaki. No to genocide multimedia exhibition to be opened in Rostov on Don. Three cultural historical reserves to be created in Armenia in 2021. Sides of Western Armenia, the underground cave of Black Sea region. Support to Western Armenia TV. The harvest of apricot trees has been reduced by 60% as a result of agricultural frost in Baskil province, Harbert, Western Armenia. The snow and frost on March 26 to 27 had a negative impact on apricot trees on 100,000 decares. Baskil is the first largest apricot producer after Malatya and Mersin, with an average production of 60,000 tons of fresh apricots a year. Unfortunately, there is a loss of about 50 to 60 percent, according to preliminary results. On the 2nd of April, the Secretary of the Artsakh Security Council, Vitali Balasanyan, held a working meeting in connection with the implementation of the work carried out by the center operating in the border zone to resolve urgent issues. Considerations were presented regarding the monitoring of the situation on the line of contact and the solving of the issues. The current issues were discussed, the ones responsible received relevant instructions. According to the source, the ministers of health, economy, agriculture, education, science, culture, sports, the deputy minister of territorial administration and infrastructure, and high-ranking representatives of the peacekeeping contingent attended the meeting. SJNews.ge reports 144 children were born in Ahl Kalaki Hospital in the first three months of the year, of which 66 were girls and 78 were boys. According to the statistics of recent years, the birth rate in Ahl Kalaki is slowly growing this year. Noto Genocide Multimedia Exhibition is to be opened in the biggest exhibition complex in Russian My History Museum. The Don Armenian Youth Union has initiated the exhibition. It's a unique opportunity to inform the whole Russia about the Armenian issue. The merry lighting of the hall, the music of great Armenian composers, and the story about one of the most horrible events in world history. The exhibition aims to stir the hearts, to awaken in you the desire to fight and work for the future of the Armenian people. The Telegram channel of the Don Armenian Youth Union reports. The exhibition will be open on April 11 to 25 from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. in Rastov on Don, 31 Sholokhov Avenue, 3rd floor. The entrance is free. It is planned to create free cultural historical reserves in Armenia in 2021. As Armen Press reports, the Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, Vahram Dumanyan, informed about this at the final press conference of 100 days of officiating. It is planned to create Dashtadem Castle, capital Dvin historical cultural reserves. The process of founding was stopped due to the war unleashed by Azerbaijan against Artsakh on September 27, 2020, Dumanyan mentioned. According to him, the Alsk Arshakunis Mausoleum Historical and Cultural Reserve is planned to be established in October. The Karaja Cave one of the most important tourism centers in the eastern part of Black Sea region of Western Armenia has opened its tourism season as part of the COVID-19 prevention measures. The cave, which tens of thousands of local and foreign tourists visit every year, was reopened after five months of technical work. In the framework of COVID-19 events, the cave considered one of the most unique in the world in terms of stalactite, stalagmite density and height of ceiling doesn't accept more than 20 people. Rainwater and melting snow cause these limestone formations. It gets longer with about a centimeter in 12 years. We suggest you visit the mysterious underground kingdom in case you get a chance. Dear followers, the state television company Western Armenia is not engaged in self-advertising, but our projects need logistical support. Our TV is the microphone for the Armenians deported from Western Armenia. It promotes the fair rights of the indigenous people of Western Armenia in the information field. The current problems facing Armenians are more important to be presented to the world, especially to our compatriots. Our just demands having internationally established legal force. Our struggle is eternal and honest. The Armenians, the indigenous people of the Armenian highlands, must live and create in their cradle in Western Armenia. We can do more together. Now we present you Zarzenga by Gerard Choir. The 
The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.